Welcome everyone. Today we are going to link the paper application to your GCK account. So let's go first to Google so we can log into our GCK. And then we're going to look for the GCK here and then click it. And then type in your username and your password and click sign in. Let's click continue and then it will open your terms and conditions and just accept it. Answer the security question and here we are to our GCK account. So we'll just look for the portion, this portion on how we can link our paper application to our GCK. So just click it and you will see what kind of program did you apply for so the first one is the citizenship and then the next option will be the electronic travel authorization the ETA next one is the interim federal health program and then there is also the permanent residence okay and then the next option is the permanent resident card and the last option is the temporary residence. I will choose the permanent resident card since this is the one that I'm going to link. So I will now choose the application details from my application. First option is application number and family name. And second option is application number and UCI. Next option is family name, given name and date of birth. And the last is the UCI and the family name. So I chose UCI and family name. So I will need to put my UCI number and my family name. I will also provide the place of birth, which is city and the country of birth. And of course, the other details about my application. So it asked me about the date when I became a permanent resident. So I will put it here. And then also the country of my citizenship, which is from the Philippines. And at the same time, the current marital status. So click search for my application. And then it will show me this message. Okay. Okay. So this time they have no application found. Why? Because there may be some mistake. With regards to the in details that I put so I need to go back and search again because there may be some mistake or some error in my in the details that I provided I need to go back to the main page so I will click this button once I'm back to my main page I will click again the button to link my application I will choose again the permanent resident card. Instead of the UCI and the family name, I will choose now the family name, given name, and date of birth. So I need to put the date of birth, the family name, the given name, and my date of birth. In my previous inquiry that they have not found any application, I suspect that this is the problem. Because I just put here on the city or town of birth just the town name and the province. But the province is I use the abbreviated one. So right now I will choose a full name of the province. Then I will put again the date when I became a permanent resident. And then also my country of citizenship. And also again my current marital status. And then I will click this button to start to link my application. And this is what they found that there in the system, they have found an application that matches the information I entered. So right now, what I'm going to do is just to click the link, okay, this link, my application, so it will connect it will already put that one into my GC key account. So here you go. So the application registration has been successful. And now my application 
is linked already in my GCK account. So this is the before we link the application in the main page and this is uh, the after we link the application. So we already see the application or the ongoing application for the permanent resident card. So to check the status of the application, so let us click this button. As you can see here, the application is still on process. Just like the applications that we did online, we can still see here the details of our application status, such as the review of eligibility, the interview if there is any, and then the biometrics, background check, and at the same time, if there is a decision already in our application. This time, let us now view the documents that, there, that we submitted, if there is any. As you can see, you cannot find any documents here that I've submitted because I submitted all the documents on paper, so it is not online. So that is why you cannot find any documents that I submitted. But if ever the immigration would ask a document from me, then and then I need to submit it through this online portal of the immigration or the IRCC. And then that's the thing, that's the time that I can see it here on my CIC or GC key account. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something through this short video tutorial.